I only tend to outlink to Wikipedia. Is this okay? As I want the person to come back to my site. Does it matter if I open the link in a new tab? Um, you, you can, you can, I always set it to open links in new tabs. What about you, Nick? Yeah, same, because I want my, uh, website to stay open, yeah, yeah. you know, um, it counts for something. Yeah, you don't want them to leave your site. Um, but I will say this, I will say you, you're, when you're doing outbound authority links, you're going to want to do more than just Wikipedia. Um, you know, Wikipedia is good. I'm not saying don't use Wikipedia. It's probably the most used, you know, outbound authority link probably by far, <laughs> um, you know, for anyone doing this kind of thing, but, uh, you definitely want to use other stuff too. And so the, the kind of the, the trick is to, you know, find targets that aren't your competitors that are still, uh, topically relevant to what is going on in your article. Right. Uh, so it might take a little bit of effort, a little bit of, um, thinking to figure out, but it's honestly something that's not too hard. Um, I've never really struggled with that thing. You know, you just, you, you can generally scan over your article and just, uh, and find something, uh, pretty quickly. Most of the time, um, do you have any advice or tips on that, Nick? Or? Yeah, no. So you don't ever want to just use one source that you're linking out to. It's going to make you look less tr uh, trustworthy. Yeah. I mean, you know, what kind of authority site is always linking to another authority site? So it's basically like having a citation or, or citations all to one to one site, which isn't a well-documented piece. You think about a, um, a, uh, an educational piece of paper, right? Or like, uh, what, what the hell is the word I'm looking for? Like an yeah, official a scholarly paper research. Yeah. Research yeah paper. Scholarly paper. There we go. Yeah. Um, you know, you're not going to have all your information gathered from one place. How is that a well-rounded piece of information? It's not. Um, and so let's uh, let's imagine that. All right. So we've got links from Wikipedia. Um, that's fine and good. Let's not overdo it. Where else do we get similar things from? OK, um, dot edu sites, dot gov sites, other authority sites that, um, you know, are, are niche specific and well in tune. So if I'm, let's say, a roofer, um, you know, maybe gaff is one that I would look into. I know that's obscure, but it's like something that I remember hearing. Um, or if, um, I don't know, what's another one? Uh, anyhow, whatever the niche is, you can always type in the subject matter that you're looking for and uh, .gov and do a Google search. Subject matter .edu, look in there. Or just the subject matter and then look for something that's not competing with you but is a educational resource on the subject matter, okay? Um, there's plenty of opportunities. Just going to Wikipedia is not going to cut it as far as looking like a trustworthy piece of information. Um, and then jumping in to, um, I want the person to come back to my site. Um, well, you know, if they clicked on that link to go view information, like you, like we said earlier, you're better off opening it in a new tab. Um, they're more likely to come back to the site or at least leave it open for longer, which is going to help you. Um, but then, you know, it, it's sort of up to that person, whether they're going to come back to your site or not. And that's going to have, you know, or be heavily determined by if you, uh, have good information on your site that they, you know, that they're using. Um, if you're like us where your content is primarily created for the purposes of SEO, um, what I've come to find is there's not too many people leaving my site. Um, now, my yeah, I mean, it depends let's on. Let's be real. Like, you know, yeah. you, you know, you normally don't go find an answer for something that you're looking for and then go like click on a link to something that's kind of related um, to it, but not really what you're looking yeah. for. <laughs> Unless you do an SEO for like a scholar, scholarly article, which I, I don't know anybody doing that kind of stuff. It could be cool. Um, you know, maybe you're on a whole new level of, uh, not interest in profit, but interest in steering of the mind, which is very cool. Please let us know if you're in on that. Uh, I'd like to meet you and talk to you. But um, yeah, I haven't met that type of person, and I have tried finding them before. I remember asking if there's anybody involved in like political steering campaigns or anything like that, and 
you know, I think it, if somebody saw it, they probably aren't too open to um, discussing it would be my guess. Yeah, I, you know, I wouldn't really link out the stuff that would be would be like competing for. So so basically, you know, when someone does a Google search and they find your site or and they click on your your article or whatever, they clicked it because they think it's going to best be what they're looking for. And so if you're linking to stuff from your article that could compete with that, you know, to basically answer that question better, that re people are really going to want to click that link, it's probably not the outbound authority link you want to do, right. right? It'd be more like, you know, find something more general, something that's not related, um, you know, something that's something that's related to the topic, but is not really going after the same, um, s solving the same need as your article is. Uh, what I like to do a lot of the time is just zoom way out and get something like super general yeah. uh, for like a term that's very, very generally uh, related to the topic, but is in no way, shape or form like um, competing with the article or even stuff you're trying to rank for. And you can generally do that somewhat pretty easily. Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to check the description below for links to our blog for more info on this topic, along with a bunch of other cool stuff like case studies, our Facebook community, and our link building services. And like always, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell if you enjoyed the video. Thanks and happy ranking!